everyone and welcome back to Disney Springs. Today we are here to experience something brand new. You probably know where I'm headed, ice cream time. Salt and Straw is located at the end of this walkway right here. If you make your way towards the AMC Theater and uh, of course the M&M Store and many other places down here this side of uh, Disney Springs, you will find it. It's actually located right next to the cigar shop. See how that uh, changes the flavor of the ice cream. Let's see if it does. Now, as expected for opening day, got a little bit of a line out front. We're gonna check that out in a second, but first let's look at some of the details here. The outside of this brand new store, it, it's a strong smell by the cigar shop. Here it is, the brand new ice cream shop at Disney Springs. Love that larger than life ice cream cone with ice cream on top. Right up there, you can see it. You can see a lot of people are waiting in line. Gotta appreciate that. Kind of a wooden style, the outside of this building. I've heard some of those flavors are very unique. So we're gonna go in there, give a couple of them a try, let you know. Let's do it. The most delicious decision you'll make today. We're gonna to be the judge of that. I heard that there are some amazing flavors, heard from some uh, friends here at the entrance that the uh, llama, drama llama or something like that, llama and cookie dough are outstanding. So we're gonna go and try a few of them. Really? Okay, all right. That's the second recommendations I've gotten for the Panther coffee. Is it really that good? It just looks, yeah, it all looks good. And that cookie dough too. That, interesting with the, uh, the guava and cheese. Or the honey balsamic with black pepper. Oh my god, I have to try it just to know, just to say I tried it. Try okay, all right, good to know. We'll try as many as we want, but I'm gonna try a few. That's what I heard. I heard it's really good. I was gonna try the cookie dough. Another team member recommended cookie dough. I usually go for like a mint, like a cookie dough. Something. I'm gonna taste the. It's almost like peanut butter flavor. Very good. That's pretty good mint. Now, for the sake of argument, how's that honey balsamic with black pepper? Are you serious? So we're trying the uh, strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper, terrifying flavor, and the uh, olive oil flavor. I mean, to me, those just sound terrible, but I'm, I'm open mind here. We're going into it, open mind. Wow. My mom would love that one. Oh my gosh. All right. That's shocking how good that is. All right. Olive oil is not bad either. They're both surprisingly good. Like that, that balsamic is like a, you like the jam. It's like a jam. Let's do the mint and the ice cream of moo. Those both are really good. Those are my favorite so far. The rosy pink flamingo. Absolutely right. The, um, the gummy bears, they actually make, or they don't make here, but they, they treat them in a way that they don't turn into rock hard pieces of stone that break your fillings. They're super like squishy the moment you bite into them. Really impressive. There it is. I've got the chocolate, the ice cream of moo one. That's the chocolate one on the bottom and a very special, the, the uh, standard one you can find all the time, the freckled mint chocolate chip. Both of these were really, really good. I'll give you more of my thoughts as we step outside here, but wow. Gotta tell you, really good ice cream, really good overall. Love the fact that you can like try all of it. That's, that's pretty great. Found a couple flavors that I really did like and I was serious that the uh, honey balsamic was just like shocking. Like I think that my mom would really like that one and I actually kind of liked it too. It tasted like strawberry jam and with a hint, just a hint of balsamic. Like I would tell you if it was too much, you know me, but I, I, li I liked it a lot. I can actually see myself getting that for real. I got the split, so it's like a small cup and you split which ones you want. So like a half a thing of the mint and half a thing of the ice cream of moo, which is a limited edition flavor. I wonder what the, the updated limited edition flavor is gonna look like. Flavors were all really good. I think this is definitely a top contender when it comes to ice cream at Disney. Is it number one? It's it's really good. It's really good. I would say it's top five. And so that's that's a tough category to get into, but they did a really good job. Salt and Straw, and I know it's a, it's a chain, there are more of them, but I think it's a really good addition to Disney Springs. Worth the wait, 100%. Getting really real for a minute here, which ones beat it in terms of the top five? Now this is, this is a really personal decision, right? So everyone's gonna be different on this, everyone's gonna prefer different ice cream flavors. I think that Leata's in the glass and the fountain at the Dolphin Hotel are likely just above it in terms of the types of flavors. That being said, there's a real strong possibility that the flavor that you like best will be here. It just kind of depends on which flavor you like best. Are they better or worse? If that's my, I'm telling you my choice of what I like in terms of ice cream. It is 100% worth a try if you want to try like some really amazing ice cream at Walt Disney World and Disney Springs. It doesn't require a ticket either. Leata Zende Glass does. That's the selling point. I think that's, that's the real selling point. So yeah, really good salt and straw. Definitely would recommend it. One thought I actually wanted to pass on. The, um, this ice cream's really good. 
Nothing against this ice cream, delicious. I think that Disney should replace the Boardwalk ice cream that's currently at the Boardwalk, repl that replaced Ample Hills, with something else like Salt and Straw or, or some other brand, which there are so many of them. We've been over this before. There are so many like other brands that do an amazing job. The one at Beach, the, the Boardwalk, is not nearly as good as it could be. If you're thinking about like, if you're getting really picky with Disney ice cream, it's one of those things that they could do. They could bring these really unique brands and unique flavors to the boardwalk. But you know, we have the fountain not too far away, so they're probably never gonna do that, but that's a thought. Now we're here at Disney Springs on an absolutely beautiful day. Let's go to World of Disney, check out some of the new merchandise that they have there. Here we are, World of Disney. The doors are open, let's head in. Disney definitely is always going for more merch, more and more, no matter where you are, $34. For these ears, I can't really tell. Is that like a hat? Looks like a hat, it's really nice. And then check out this new lounge fly bag here. That is a cool one there with the uh, Mickey spots right there. Captain Marvel symbol with that kind of black all leather Mickey. $85, 50th anniversary, unique one for sure. I've seen these golf balls before, but it's great to see them again. $12 for these. I don't trust myself enough to not just lose all of them <laughs> quite yet, but I'll get to that point someday, one day. This pink shirt right here, man, this, there's always new merchandise, I'm telling you. There's never a time I've walked in here and said, oh, I've seen all of this before, $36.99. There's so much great Hercules here, look at this. $59.99 for this uh, jersey right here. I like that one a lot, and on the back, check out Hercules there. That is just so, so nice. Wow, that's, that's a definite winner there. Walking from spot to spot, noticing new merchandise all around. Look at this, call me charming, and what's that say? I don't even know a Samantha. This is funny, from Frozen 2. That's pretty funny. $75 for that uh, Frozen 2 Olaf lounge fly bag. I'm telling you, the number of these bags is just like, I, I keep running across them. It's the easiest thing for me to recognize of uh, being new. $75, but look at that one. <laughs> That's great, and they're eating ice cream. It's perfect for what we just did at Salt and Straw. It's impressive. I also love this one, look at this. You can see Dumbo right here in all the different colors with the green and the yellow and the pink and the blue. Love that, $75. Just in time for Mother's Day, they've got a lot of really cool Mother's Day items here. From the patches that signify liking something on Instagram, see it took me a second, to all sorts of other patches, hair bands, oh this is nice, look at this stitch one. That's very nice, what is this? This is a, uh, oh it's another, it's a headband. That's a very nice one. $14.99, little wallets right here. Just a whole shelving area just dedicated to mom. Check out this fantastic Winnie the Pooh collection. <laughs> There's so many amazing items here. This little uh, sliders, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, they're clips, I had to kind of turn over a little bit. They're clips where you can like hang pictures. I love that, and then over here I saw this immediately and I was like, all right, wait a minute. This is a plush bus with Mickey eating ice cream. The theme of today's video is ice cream and it is $19.99. That's a super nice plush. It's like all super inflated too. So it's like, it looks like it's not gonna, you know how plushes sometimes deflate? That's not gonna happen here. I don't know what this thing is, $29.99. And so Winnie the Pooh, it's like a door hanger there. We can store your different items, maybe shoes or something like that, in those little hangers in your closet. Speaking of Mother's Day, happiest mom on earth. Love that one, check that out. That is so cool. Just in time for Mother's Day. So, so cool. The price of this one is $36.99, excuse me. And on this side, we've got Disney Mom. I love it. Another great, this is a kind of a cutoff shirt though. Look at the sleeves, a little different. The other ones we've seen, $36.99. Tons of great merch in World of Disney, but I wanted to tell you about a Dole Whip I had recently. Now you may recall for a long time, right across the way there, the Dole Whip nachos were there. Believe it or not, the Dole Whip location has been moved to an area across from Rainforest Cafe. It's now Swirls on the Water. And Swirls in the Water includes a very unique trio. The trio includes pineapple and vanilla, lemon and blue cookie dough, and habanero lime. A couple days ago, I tried the trio, and I've gotta tell you, it did not impress me that much. Pineapple did not taste like true pineapple dough whip to me. The blue almost, it tasted sweet, but that's about all I could taste. Habanero, I couldn't even eat that much because it was way too intense for me, personally. Maybe some will love it, but to me, this is uh, it's not super good. It's from these little cups though, these little mini 
champagne glasses well, made of plastic, which I thought were pretty good, pretty cool to look at, but the overall uh, tastes were definitely lacking on this one. So if you're looking for authentic Dole Whip, there's two places to go, Magic Kingdom or Pop Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. That, those are my places to get a Dole Whip. Speaking of updates here at Disney, check this out. The new Cook's Fish and Ship sign has been completed here. It's all neon right there. Even the fish is neon and the water around him. I love this. That's very, very cool. Located here at Disney Springs. They're working on it for not too long, and all of a sudden it's done. I love it. Now Disney keeps changing this sign for the uh, most recent movie that will be coming out, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is one that I am truly looking forward to. Very excited about it. I'll be honest with you, though, I have not seen Spider-Man No Way Home. It's one of the few I haven't seen. Can't believe I still haven't seen it. I'm hoping that I see it very soon. I, uh, yeah, I have to see that before I see Doctor Strange. No, no question. Another fantastic day here at Disney Springs. So glad Sultan Straw is here. It's a good spot, it really is. It's top three, maybe top five, somewhere in there, in terms of uh, ice cream spots here at Disney Springs. I try that over the uh, Dole Whip spot, the new Dole Whips, any day. Yeah, Salt and Straw beats that one hands down. And don't be afraid to try all the flavors. That was a that was a really cool experience. If you are looking forward to trying Salt and Straw, which of the flavors that I mentioned in this video sound the most interesting to you? Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks as always to our patrons for making it all possible. And until next time, have a magical day. See you real soon.